Realistically speaking, can't ask for a better opening uh, to the season. Two wins in two games. So what was working well for you guys? Well, I thought, you know, we made some adjustments from Friday game to Saturday's game. We stayed out of the box more, which helped us get more flow into the game. You know, we only had 24, 25 shots on goal up in Kalamazoo's barn. And a lot of that was just self-inflicted wounds. We kept making the same mistakes, bad turnovers, bad penalties. Allowed them to really do more dictating up there in Kalamazoo. And, Friday, and Saturday night, we knew they were going to try to do the same, get us sucked into taking penalties. And our guys did a good job of being disciplined, uh, which was big because, again, we played more five-on-five -five hockey, also more power play time. What's the biggest thing you'll take away and try and you continue moving forward? Well, again, like everything, it's special teams. It's defensively. I think, you know, offensively, we got to you know, tweak a couple things with getting more shots and pucks to the net, um, also more traffic in around the net. But uh, getting ready to play a really good Indianapolis team. Obviously, their division games this weekend are home games. Uh, essentially, eight points on the line when you look at it that way. And uh, we'll be ready to go. You mentioned special teams. I mean, it worked really well for you guys, both the power play and a penalty kill. Uh, why so successful? Well, I think, you know, uh, some great individual plays Friday night. Um, you know, Garrett Thompson was involved with both of them. Really nice plays, good finishes. You know, Saturday night, not so great. You know, we gave up a three-on-one rush on the power play, a two-on-one rush. Um, we weren't as detailed on Saturday. And, and we got to know that teams pre-scouting us are probably going to look at that. So uh, we got to get that area, you know, addressed. It seems like, you know, in talking to uh, Daniels and, and Sid there, you know, it, it takes a team effort, obviously, on a, on a penalty kill. You got to do it defensively. You got to do it goaltending. I mean, how, how do you, I guess, how do you focus on either one? Well, I think you just got to take a look to see what your weakness is and your, you know, and your strengths are right now. And that's what we're trying to do. Shafi does a great job of helping me kind of realize what we got to make sure to are focal points. And, and our captains we meet with every Monday morning. And I thought, you know, they had some good input, too, on, on what we feel that we got to address, you know, some communication issues that we had. So we're just trying to make slow, steady improvements. We keep continuing to talk about that. But it's still early in the season. There's only two games a weekend. So you have a lot of practice during the week to try to button down things. What is the focus in practice this week? Well, I think, again, it's special teams. It's defense and goaltending are the, are the main things right now. Um, you know, offensively, um, I, I think we got 10 forwards and 60 that can all contribute offensively. Uh, but we're trying to get better without the puck mostly. You mentioned, obviously, the games this weekend against Inzi. What do you know about that team? Uh, obviously, they're no stranger. Well, they're extremely well coached, and the biggest difference is their goaltending. They have two very strong goalies. They might have the best uh, duo tandem in the league. With, uh, with Carruth, who's, who's a monster, he had a great camp in Rockford, playing real well, and as well as Neil Conway. Um, so, you know, I think those two goalies um, are playing extremely well. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Shane Owen, not Neil Conway. But uh, Shane Owen's playing really good hockey right now, and so is Matt Carruth. So, you know, I think that's going to be the biggest challenge. They're very structured, very well coached, and it has some speedy forward. So it'll be a good challenge for us. Obviously, early in the season, one of the biggest problems, or not problems, but one of the biggest uh, concerns is how a team is going to mesh. How much does winning obviously help that? Well, you want to try to create a winning culture and a winning environment, but also a competitive environment, too, in practice. And, you know, we try to do that as well with getting guys competing hard against one another. Um, that way, come game time, you know, it's already there. Um, we're trying to do that every day in practice. And it's a good group of guys. You can see the chemistry is coming together. And uh, the, the thing that we took away with management and coaching staff from the weekend was, you know, you see early on that the chemistry is there with guys blocking shots, you know, fighting for one another, scratching the claw for the guy next to him. You see, obviously, Will Weber get in there and stick up for Zidlowski. You've seen Cody Saul get in there and stick up for Garrett Muir's. You've seen Jordan Southworth made an unbelievable play to break up a three-on-one play uh, when we were shorthanded. So uh, big shot blocks by Montgomery on a, on a penalty kill. You're seeing those things early, which is, this is really good.